One of the things that makes tennis so challenging is that no two balls are identical. There are theoretically things that should happen in terms of optimal biomechanics and optimal contact points, but the reality is that you've got to deal with the ball that comes towards you. That might mean adjusting the way that you prepare, taking the racket back higher to deal with a heavier, higher ball. It might mean making your swing more compact, reducing the length of your take back to deal with a harder, lower, flatter ball. But all those things are based on your ability to recognize the ball that's coming back, coming towards you quickly and then do the necessary thing. And that's where things get a little bit tricky because those things require a very highly functioning visual system. And this is something that not all players have. People don't necessarily realize it because they can make it through their lives just fine. They can do all the things that they need to do on a daily basis, but that is very different to playing tennis at a high level. The visual demands of doing all the things that you need to do on court, like the, the stuff that you see the professional tennis players on TV do, those things are extremely challenging. And there are multiple different visual skills that the top players all really do well, but other players don't necessarily do quite, quite as well. And one of the key ones is gonna be judging distance, and judging depth. All those things necessary to time the ball well are based on your ability to judge distance and depth. And that's why in this video, I want to show you a couple of different training drills you can use to work on the visual skills that are gonna be important for depth judgment. We're gonna start with a little bit of an assessment and uh, I'm gonna show you how to train that and hopefully make improvements in that area. And then we're gonna work on a second drill as well. Both really simple exercises that you can do at home, out on court, any way you need to, to improve your visual system so you can improve your timing. Now, I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, it'd be awesome if you could hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you do that and get the notifications turned on because I used brain-based training to help players optimize performance and prevent injuries. So you don't wanna miss out on any of the content. Okay, so I wanna start by showing you a quick assessment. We're gonna be assessing something called convergence, which is the ability for your eyes to move inwards together. In order to judge distance and judge depth optimally, both of your eyes need to be pointing at the same target, which is gonna be the ball. Sounds simple, but for a lot of people, it doesn't work quite the way it should. So we're gonna do a little bit of an assessment to make sure the eyes are both pointing at the target and that they can work in coordination as you follow something all the way in and all the way out. The assessment's really simple. It looks like this, you're just gonna use a pen or a pencil. You're gonna hold that out in front, you're gonna look at the tip of the pen, and then you're gonna bring it in towards you. So I'm trying to bring the tip of the pen right in between the bridge of my eyes. Now I should be able to get there without the tip of the pen doubling. As you bring it in, it might get a little bit blurry, that's completely fine, but what shouldn't happen is the tip of the pen shouldn't split in two. As it comes in, both of my eyes are tracking inward so you can see them moving in together. Well, for a lot of people, either both of the eyes or one of the eyes isn't able to come inwards in the way that it should. And as that happens, the tip of the pen is gonna to start to double. Now, when you do this, you need to go quite slowly because if you go really quickly, a lot of people, they do that. They go past the point where it starts to double. One eye is looking at the pen, one eye is looking in completely the wrong direction. So they think that they're okay with the skill when actually there's quite a significant problem. So go nice and slowly and see if you can identify if the tip of the pen doubles. Now, if it doesn't, that's awesome. Then you can just work onto the different training exercises to improve the strength and the endurance of these muscles. If it does double, then that's something you want to work on correcting. You want to kind of measure the distance that you can get from you. So if I bring it in, you know, does it start to double at six inches or eight inches or two inches? And that's gonna be your starting point that you want to work on correcting over time. So it's a really simple assessment, but it can have a very big impact on your ability to anticipate, or sorry, to react to the ball that's coming towards you and your ability to hit with good timing. And then in terms of training it, you just literally work on it. So a lot of the time, the brain areas that control these eye movements, the muscles, they're maybe just not quite working like they should because you haven't challenged them enough. So just as a training exercise, you can do this pencil push-up exercise, just working on bringing it in. You don't wanna cause yourself any eye strain, so you have gotta be a little bit sensible when you do it, but you just work on bringing it closer and closer, and then hopefully if you start at six inches, then you can get it a little bit closer. And then over time, and sometimes it only takes two, three, four days of working on it consistently before you can see improvements. But that's the training drill itself. It can have a huge impact on your game. For the second drill, we're gonna be working on a fast switching movement. So we've just done the pencil push-up where we're tracking it in slowly. 
the eyes are working in coordination that way. Now we're going to work on making a fast switch between a target that's up close and a target that's in a distance. Now this is a drill that you want to practice at multiple different distances and at some point you need to get out on court or at least work on switching between those distances because you need to train your visual system in a specific way so it can handle what it needs to do on court. But the exercise is really simple. This time, instead of using the tip of the pen, I want you to use a letter that's on the pen. So most pens and pencils have letters. This one has just got some letters at the top. So I'm gonna be looking at those letters and instead of bringing it all the way in, this time I'm just gonna bring it in until that letter starts to go blurry. So. At this distance here, I can see it completely clearly. If I go to there, it's a little bit blurry. So I'm gonna back off and I'm gonna hold it at the spot where it is completely clear. So the last moment that I can before it starts to go blurry. And that's what I'm gonna use as my near target. So I'm gonna bring it in. Yep, it's completely clear there. That goes a little bit blurry. So I'm gonna back off to there and then I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna look at something that's in the distance. Now it's a good idea if you're doing this out on court, you can put a ball down the other end of the court and write a big letter on it. You can use a target that's on the back fence. So I don't know whether you can see it, I could use the number three that's on the back fence over there. So I'm gonna switch between this near target and the far target. And I'm gonna wait until that far target becomes clear and then I'm gonna switch back, wait until this becomes clear, switch back, wait until it becomes clear, near target, wait till it's clear, far target, wait till it's clear. So I'm going to be switching backwards and forwards like that, waiting till the target that I'm looking at is clear. This is going to train your ability for the eyes to work in coordination, but it's also going to change the visual processing and train you to process things more clearly. And that's going to be important for a number of things that happen on court as well. Now, depending how your system's functioning, you might find that you, when you switch from here to the thing that's in the distance, it takes a second, two, three seconds to make that adjustment. And that's okay, you're gonna work on making that faster over time. Same thing when you come back to the close target. You might find that it takes a second or two seconds to become fully clear. You're gonna wait and then you're gonna make your switch. And again, over time, when you practice and work on these exercises regularly, that should start to change. You should start to more quickly be able to clear things up in the distance and up close. And both of those things are gonna help with your ability to judge distance, to judge depth, to react more quickly, to judge what ball is coming towards you, so you can make the appropriate adjustments that you need to with your shot, so you can time the ball more efficiently. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video, but this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to vision training in tennis. We've been talking about a couple of things that you can do to improve depth judgment, depth perception, because they're gonna be really important for timing, but there are multiple other things that can affect your timing, and there's also a lot of different visual skills that you need on court. You can train your ability to track the ball more efficiently, you can improve processing speed so you can react faster and get to more balls. There's a lot you can do. So if you're serious about improving your game and you'd like to learn more about this stuff, I'd love to chat to see if I can help. I've got a link down below in the description that's gonna allow you to book a call with me. So if you want to improve your game, go ahead, click that link, and and I look forward to talking with you. Also, I've got another video that you should check out. It's about breaking something called visual suppression. This is gonna be another essential skill or essential thing that you need to be able to do to time the ball and judge distance accurately.